Time to go and get in the plane in the sky and fly away. Not quite sure what that accent was, but it is time to go. I've got to get up, hopefully. It's gonna be like the one day that I don't miss a flight, but I shouldn't say that because I've not even ordered a taxi yet and I've still got the chance of missing it. So uh, let's get organized, let's get motivated, let's get going. The uh, choice is gonna be the, oh, that's not organized very well. The Syndicate original coat of arms. If you haven't got it yet, it's fresh, it's new. Grab it, new. I'm not even gonna keep you on the edge of your seat. I'm gonna tell you where I'm going. I'm going to Los Angeles. And the reason we're going out there is because uh, li quite literally, most importantly, number one, Captain Sparkles has got a Ford GT. There's like only a few hundred of them in the world and it's a beautiful car and we're going checking it out. So when I say, oh yeah, but I've got no pants on it. <laughs> Hi. Who lives in an aeroplane up in the sky? This guy's about to do. I might, I might not, not actually miss a flight for once. Knock on wood. If I set off at 10 o'clock, I'll be there for at least half 10. I've got an hour and a half before my flight. There's like no way I can miss it. I can get my vlog edited, which I think yesterday's vlog, by the way, was like two seconds long. And that was not, that was not about Tom like being mean and not filming much. It's, I literally did nothing. You saw I was in recovery mode all yesterday. If there's one thing I should have made sure I had time for, it was a haircut out like bloody SpongeBob. What I actually meant with that statement is I look like the pineapple out of Sp SpongeBob. That, that's what I was going for, but I think I'm ready to go. We're going to Los Angeles. We're going to LA, ladies and gentlemen. Is it Lamont? Yes. I need to get to Manchester Airport to then fly down to London, London to LA. We're flying business class, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good, good, good flight. My taxi's here, my boy's outside, thank you very much. Well, all right, you Klingon fat bastard. You've got lots of food in there, so make sure you get it at. And when I come back, we're going to the vets, okay? Don't give me too much of an emotional goodbye, Steve. All right, see you in a bit. All right, phone, wallet, passport, watch, backpack, laptop, self, check. Anything else I need? I don't think so. I think the last three flights of mine I've missed. I've always been like, yeah, I've got loads of time, I'll make it, don't even worry about it. And then yeah, <laughs> my plans just fall apart. <sighs> I've actually made it on time. Terminal three, we meet again. Oh, to hell, that's some strong ass side winds. Hope it doesn't cause any um, delays to my flight because I'm, I'm not about being on time and then to find out that my plane's delayed. Like imagine that. The horrific scene of, of me being on time for once and my plane ends up being getting delayed. Oh no, 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 no. What's going on? Got my ticket. I got loads of time <laughs> and I'm gonna stroll straight through security. I just hope I can get this vlog edited in time, uploaded, otherwise, it actually won't go up on a daily vlog. Like, it will actually be officially late. My bag got checked. Oh my goodness me. Wow. That is the worst I've ever seen the bag check line. My bag was at the back of 20. 20 bags, like a coward. It was ridiculous. I was like, oh my goodness me. I just happened to like speak to some guy. I was like, hey mate, is there any way I can move my bag from that security line to this one? Because there's 20 bags to be checked there and there's one over there. And he was just like, hey Tom, how are you doing? Knew me from my videos. And I was like, oh my God, no way. And he actually went and pulled my bag, pulled it to the front and scanned it. I can't think of enough. If he wouldn't have done that, I probably wouldn't be able to get my vlog edited. Absolute homie, yet again. We're the syndicate man, we're the family. We are the absolute homies. Oh my God, madness. I've even got time to get some breakfast as well, so. We're okay right now. We're okay, if that guy would not have saved my bag. <laughs> the struggle bus would have been real. Vlog rendering now. I don't know how long it's going to take to render, and I don't know how long it's going to take to upload. Simply because I have 0 0.5 upload here at the airport Wi-Fi. It's a struggle, and I've made a friend. Waiting for this to finish is absolutely killing me because my flight is at 12, but the gate's opened, and I'm waiting to upload it. Like one good thing about the situation is that the Wi-Fi here is potato. Like, really bad. It's like 0 0.15 upload whereas my mobile phone has 35 uploads, so I'm tethering to my laptop to get it uploaded, so pray for me. Oh, hell yes. Six minutes to upload the vlog. Loads of time. Done. The vlog is uploaded and ready for 6 p.m. Yeah. Now to get to the gate and not miss my plane. I can't express how happy I am to get my daily vlog done. Like, honestly, one thing a day is just for me to get that video edited online, and I've done it. It's scheduled for 6 p.m. Should go live, so I'll be in the I'll be in the air. 
for 11 hours now, so I won't know if it actually does go live, or it should do, there shouldn't, there shouldn't be a hiccup, but it goes live, and I land, and I'll find out if it went live. If it doesn't, they're officially missed a daily vlog, but I think we're good. Hey, is it school holidays or something? Because this place is absolutely rammed. Jesus. Can't make it up. I think it actually might be delayed. 12.10, London Heathrow, now departing at 12.23. All right then, in that case, I'm going back up to the airport lounge. Soon a bit, and I'm back. Well, I guess now I can actually have some breakfast. Are you joking? Within the time I walk down to the gate and back, they've moved it all. Son of a bitch. Thank you. Please proceed to gate 142 in preparation for boarding. The queue to get to the gate is absolutely ridiculous, so I just thought I'd come into the shop and see if I could find something. I found it. Anybody here recognise anything? Anything at all? Anyone's face? Mm. <laughs> Look at him, he's on the front page of a magazine like this. That is just ridiculous. Wait, is that Zoe as well? What the heck? How could he get away with doing this? It's crazy. So beyond tempted to buy this. I truly didn't know if I was going to make this flight today. Not in the slightest, but we good. The weather is so, so nice. I'm so sad right now. If it's raining in LA, I'm going to cry. We've already been delayed by like half an hour. We're delayed by another 20 minutes. I'm probably going to miss my flight to LA. I could have turned up late. I could have turned up late for once. Drinking. Goodbye, Manchester. Next stop, London Heathrow. That's the home of the Illuminati. Ready for it? See the triangle? I've not eaten anything all day. I'm absolutely starving. So, chicken with a weird coleslaw mix, a little bit of cake, and bread. Okay, breakfast. But does it taste good? Is it better than Nando's? It's not better than Nando's, but it is good. 25 minutes later, we're about to land in London. Three, two, one. than an hour to catch my flight to LA now. We'll be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting a sign waiting for me. Mm. I could definitely say I've never done this before. Oh, like, boy. hop straight off the plane into a van. I hope I'm not getting, like, arrested here or something. Like... <laughs> and, and where are we going now? That's you, isn't it? Yeah, that is me, Thomas yeah. Cassell. Yeah. Okay. A private chauffeur to T3? Yeah. Hell yes! What's your name, sorry? Tony. Tony, thanks, Tony. I yeah, appreciate this. Is this our spot? Is this what we're Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> this is madness. Talk about door to door service. My plane's there. I thought it was like security or something. I thought I was about to get in trouble, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I just like, I got off the plane and I was looking at my phone, and if I wouldn't have looked up, there was a sign that said Los Angeles on it, and I was like, yeah, turns out, got a little private escort there. Min Los Angeles boarding gate 19. Okay. I, I thought I was in like a mad rush, but Tony the legend got me here well on time. So he even said I've got time for a drink if I want to go to the lounge. Tempted, but now I'm right. I'd rather just get straight to the gate, get on the plane, chill out. I actually made it. Wow. Impressed with myself. <laughs> this is home for the next. 11 hours. Boat, chair register, weirdest we'll just, plug we'll just socket for earphones. Hell of a lot of leg room. Check the size of this TV. Look at that. Bloody hell. Look at the Marvel Studio playlist they've got. Absolutely loads of them. I'm okay to be here for the next 11 hours. Just next stop, Los Angeles. Time to Los Angeles, 11 hours and 7 minutes. We've done this flight now 58 times. I'm finally getting to watch Downsizing. It's actually really, really good, but yo, check this out. I think beetroot with salmon, just a hour. Some couscous or something like that, and some bread. Start is very nice. Yo, this is really nice. Really nice. I think they forgot that I wanted a meal. Uh, she just came over and she was shocked. She was like, have you eaten your food? I was like, I don't have food. So I've got a, a short rib on the way. 
Bernard Wood. Lovely looking short room here. Not too sure what that is. Is that a branch? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> smells good. Oh my goodness me, a chocolate sundae. Hell yes. Six and a half hours left to go. I've fallen asleep maybe twice for an hour. I tried watching the film The Shape of Water. It was good and then I fell asleep. So I might have to try and rewatch that one. So I'm going a little bit stir crazy, not gonna lie. It's been a minute since I've taken this flight to LA. That's pro tip, when on an airplane, stay hydrated. Actually sure where we are right now, so uh, let's take a look at the maps. Voyager 3D, powered by. Oh, we are Repulse Bay. Ah, see there we are. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But in the meantime, I am hungry, so help yourself to a variety of sweets and savory snacks located near our galley. Where's a galley? Found it. That is a proper little selection. Don't mind if I take some cheese and grapes, thank you. Successful haul. I found the corn things that I absolutely love. Some kettle chips and some cheese and olives. Not cheese and grapes. Definitely cheese and grapes. I mean, definitely cheese and olives. Really good film. I watched it because it won so many awards at the Oscars and stuff like that. And I did fall asleep during it and I was like, no, I have to watch the full thing. And I just finished it. Really, really good film. It's time to turn this into a bed. This is nice. Bing. Yes, please. Nice and pleasant Coca Cola. Oh, look at this so refreshing. I'm now watching three gold boards outside Missouri or something like that, and it's so good so far. I'm literally just binge watching all the films that won Oscars recently. You know what? It's been a good decision so far. Look how dark it is, and then... <laughs> Not quite sure where we are right now. I'm about to start watching Coco. It's like a Disney Pixar film. But then, um, we are up in the clouds. This is my favorite place in the entire world. My favorite place. Just looking out above the clouds. It's amazing. <laughs> Would you be surprised if I told you I had a nosebleed at 35,000 feet? Me neither. <laughs> I can't avoid them anywhere. Not quite sure what we've got here. Beef cheese sandwich. I got a cold ham leather back. And inside we have one sleeping mask, earbuds, big ass socks, headphone covers, <laughs> mouthwash, a dental kit, tissues, and a pen. Not a bad little haul. Solid flight. Sorry. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Yes very solid flight. I've now got to go through security, which is going to take probably absolutely ages, but nonetheless, 11 hours later, I made it to Los Angeles. Okay, security doesn't look too bad. I'm through. I'm actually through. Less than five minutes. The longest place I had to wait was to hand a piece of paper. Wow. That, I've walked straight outside to LAX. Oh my goodness me, that was so fast. Right, I've got to get my Uber pickup now, so I think I've, I think, I think I've got to go upstairs. License plate 76. Oh, come on, Tom. Yeah, Tom. yeah cheers, dude. Jesus Christ, that was quick. Dude, LAX airport got fast as hell. I'm used to waiting there for like two hours and like 15 minutes for an Uber. No, shit. I literally, getting off my plane, it took me about seven minutes to get out. It's now for the test at my apartment. Oh, test one worked. I always, I'm always interested to see if my landlady's kicked me out. Like, genuinely, very always interested to see if she's kicked me out. And now for the next test, how much mail have I got? Oh, that's quite a bit. And now all that's left is that I've got to get into my apartment, which again, as long as my landlady hasn't changed the keys, I should be able to get in. Well, my key worked. I'm home. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? It's clean. I actually must have cleaned everything up before I left, which is awesome to know, because now it's just ready to jump on in. That's what I'm talking about. Well done, Tom from the past. And there's Lydia's coat. I've got, I've got to make sure I take that home for her, because 
Like, that was a, that was a birth, Christmas present. And it got left out here from the last time we were here. But I'm back. Everything's good. Everything's still here. We're sorted. I'm gonna be, what have I got in my fridges? What have I got? Waters? Oh, I got waters. I got some Coca-Cola, some Dr. Peppers. Wait a minute, how many waters have I got? A whole three. Like I said, I'm not here for that long, but I've got to make sure I top up on the essentials, get some milk and stuff like that. You can actually, when you're out here in LA, you're like, you can get like Amazon Prime now or like Uber delivery and stuff like that. It's just so convenient being in LA, like seriously. If I wanted to get some milk delivered now and I was gonna be home for the next two hours, I could just put it in Uber and get like a pint of milk delivered to my house for like a dollar. So rather than me going all the way to the shop, which is about two feet away, by the way, I can just get it ordered to me. But I'm home. And thank God I left the AC off because that would have cost me so much goddamn money. Let's get it rock and rolling. The room is cooling down. And my plan of action for tonight is nothing too crazy. It is a Monday, by the way. So let's just take things calm, take things slow. But I'm going meeting up with your boy, Luke, and your boy, I think, Mini lad, because I'm in a group text all of a sudden with Mini lad, so I think Luke and Mini are talking back and forth. So I'm going meeting up with them. We're gonna go see the Avengers again. I think my landlady's either painted the walls a different color or the carpet a different color, because I'm not that keen on it. Luckily, I'm not here half the time, so don't really care. About a three minute rest. Now to go to Luke's house because he's playing Fortnite with Hutch and he wants me to come over and play. Uh, oh no, a guard dog. Whatever will I do? What are you doing? Stop barking. Bloody hell, that dog's loud. Look, he's like, he's like, I know there's a way to drop faster, right? He's playing with Hutch, Optic Diesel, and someone else. All right, so here's Luke. And what he's doing is he's playing with all these guys now, and I'm playing on his PlayStation trying to kick some ass and carry character with those guys without them knowing so. And he's, and he's doing it. Dude, right I did so good touch. at the start and then I just fucked up because I can't, dude, I'm so tired, I can't, I'm sat this close to the screen and I still can't see it. Why is it killing me? Dude, this setup is amazing. Oh, thanks. Look at this, he's got an, like, so you remember when I, I was at Joe Suggs house and he had like those single DJ deck? Well, this is a proper, not DJ deck, what's it called? Final player. Final player, yeah. Record player. He's got two. Yeah, so you can miss. Do you, have a, do you have a record of Syndicate or something? Yeah. Like, imagine it. What is that? Shut oh, up. There it is. Ice Whoa. Tea Syndicate. Really? Ice Tea. This only costs $3.98. Well, that was, uh, yeah, that's an old one. Whoa. This dog is just too small. Like, wow. Did you, did you like getting your portrait done that one time? <laughs> Expectations. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> and again. They're not too far different. <laughs> All right, okay, only just got, oh, cheers, mate. Well, appreciate that, thanks. What an absolute homie, thank you. Literally just got off a plane and I'm already going to the movies. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Dominic, I'll be hosting you for this screening of the Avengers Infinity War. It is two hours and 36 minutes long. We want it to be the best two hours and 36 minutes you've ever spent in a theater. <laughs> so normally I would say, hey, everyone, 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 please turn off your phones because there's a handful of us like lovely people. <laughs> this is cinema good. goals right here. <laughs> this is like the longest Hello. 24 hours of my life. I'm just saying that right now. Hello. Dude, you just ate buttered popcorn. Buttered, buttered popcorn is the worst. Shut up, Tom. Judge me. No. <laughs> Consider yourself judged. Yo, Minnie. Tell me, what are you giving it out of 10? Seven. I like, I think oh. it's higher than that. Go on. Truly, what would you give Honestly, it? Like it. I, I, I think, no, I'll no, no, just agree with Don't Sammy let it change. No, 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 no. You're an independent woman. I will you agree with what Sammy says. It was too much going on at one time. And for me, yeah. I haven't seen Spider-Man. I haven't, I haven't seen Black Panther. So th those, those... Why did you just those, go and watch that movie? Those gaps missing for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't seen Black Panther or... No. We, we can't go with this. <laughs> we, we can't go with these guys again. No. Bye, Luke. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye now. <laughs> I can't believe I've got so long to go home now. This is gonna be ridiculous. I thought it was only like 10 minutes for me to get home. It's gonna take half an hour with no traffic. The fact that I can just go up this elevator now, lie in my bed and pass the hell out, makes me so happy. But at the same time, I can't wake up at whatever time I want. I've got to wake up at like a genuinely reasonable time. So I'm thinking like 8 a.m. 
because this is the one thing that messes me up about being in LA. I have to edit my vlog before 10 a.m. here. So, you know, I'm usually late with the vlogs at 6 p.m. in the UK. Well, here I've got to have them ready by 10 a.m. So if I go out on a night out drinking or something and I'm not getting back to like 4 a.m., which I'm going to someone's birthday party on Thursday, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be struggle bussing. <laughs> Byron! Oh, you know what I said about struggle bussing? It is now like, uh, it's 5.36 p.m. in the UK and I got out of bed, got editing the vlog. Oh my gosh, did it take me forever to do it. I'm just so goddamn tired, I didn't wanna get out of bed. I'm gonna give you a spoiler right now. You know how I said like, oh, it better not be raining in LA. Well, it's as great as England, if not greater than England. England is warmer right now on the temperature scale, which I'm not too happy about, but nonetheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, another travel vlog. A lot of people say they enjoy those, so if you do enjoy them, make sure you leave a like right and click that thumbs up button, click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave some comments on the video as well. Some people like just watch and don't get involved, but we're a family, we have a conversation in this chat. I feel, I feel like I'm saying like Philip DeFranco, they were like, like, join the conversation and just get involved. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for taking your time out to watch a day in the life of Tom and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, hopefully 6 p.m. for the next daily vlog. I've, I've got to start working out like a time or a schedule or something to be able to get these vlogs edited up on time for 10 a.m. LA time because I know for other people they get up at 7 a.m. for work. I don't. I usually get out of bed like all the time at like 10.30 a.m. every day. That's usually my time. So it's a struggle for me, okay? It's just a struggle. So if you guys haven't done already, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Pro Syndicate. At Syndicate on Instagram, I'm posting like crazy on there as well. I'm actually pretty goddamn active if I don't mind saying so myself. And I will see you guys at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Much love. Thank you for watching. And I saw D. Hoss.